Hey guys, for a long time I've been wanting to bring you a series of tutorials on Photoshop and Lightroom. And we're really fortunate to have Jackie, who has a lot of experience with both. She's part of our studio now. She's going to take you through a series of tutorials starting off with the basics. We want to arm you with these because we're going to start a contest in July. Lucky winner will win stuff from our sponsors like SanDisk and Bay Photo, really cool stuff. So make sure you pay attention to what she's telling you. Get out and shoot your own photos. And over to you, Jackie. OK, let's get started. Hi, guys. So this next episode is over cropping and straightening your images. So let's enter the develop module. I'm going to select my image. And we're going to go over to the crop overlay tool, which is right here. And the options will pop up down below the tool. It automatically puts a rule of thirds grid over the image and you'll see four cropping corners. To lock your aspect ratio, um, so your crop is constrained to your photo's original proportions, or to unlock it if you want a non-constrained freeform crop, you can click the lock icon near the top right of the panel right here, or you can crop using shift, which is the way I like to crop. To crop your photo, you're going to grab a corner handle and drag it inward to resize your crop. If you need to reposition the photo inside the cropping border, you can click and hold the image and a little hand will appear and here you can move it. Um, if you want to hide this grid, you hit H and it will leave. Um, if you want to look through the other options, you can hit O and there's tons of different grids you can choose from. You can also go down here and click Auto and the grid will only appear when you're cropping the image always, it always appears, and never, it won't appear until you hit H. Okay, and when your crop looks good, you can hit the R button or enter. So let me crop this image. So there are two other choices for cropping. Um, if you know you want a particular size, like if you're getting your image printed, you can do that with the aspect pop-up menu and the crop and straighten options, which is right here. And we can look through. Um, but first, I'm going to reset my crop. Here you can see what each size does. Okay, and let's say I want a five by seven, but I want the image to be more cropped in. You can hold shift and it'll keep your size. And hit enter when you want to crop. So the other more Photoshop-like way to crop um, is to click the crop overlay tool, which is right here. And now you can just drag and crop however you want. And here again, you can hit shift and it'll hold the ratio. When you're done, you can hit R or enter to crop your image. Okay, so when you're cropping in the develop module, the area that will get cropped away is automatically dimmed as you can see right here. It gives you a better idea of what your image is going to look like. But if you want a different experience um, cropping, make sure you have the crop tool selected and then hit shift tab to take away all of your panels. And then from here you can hit L twice and it'll give you a lights out mode. And um, here you can see it's pretty great. You can crop a lot easier and see exactly what you're cropping. I really like using this mode.
And when you're done, again, hit R or enter. And to get out of lights out mode, hit L twice. And then to show your panels, shift tab. Okay, now let's move on to straightening an image. So this image is pretty crooked. You can see the horizon right here is slanted. So let's start by clicking the crop overlay tool or you can press R. Here you see our grid is showing but it might be kind of distracting when you're straightening an image so we're going to take that away by pressing H. Okay, and then this, the straightener tool is my favorite way to straighten an image. It's found in the crop and straighten options and it looks like a level. So we're going to click it and go to your image and you're going to find something that is supposed to be level in the image. And right here you can see the horizon line is supposed to be straight. So you're going to click and drag along that and release and it'll automatically straighten your image. But there is one catch, you have to have something that is meant to be straight in an image, otherwise there's no point in using that tool. So I'm gonna hit enter and you can see that I've straightened my image. So now I'm going to reset this and show you two other methods of straightening. So let's go to the crop layover tool again and here we're going to use the angle slider. You can slide it left to right, left rotates the image counterclockwise and right is clockwise. So if you wanna do smaller increments, you can come over here and a double-sided arrow is going to appear and you can straighten it like that. The second method is to move your cursor outside of the crop corners and you'll get this little curvy double-sided arrow and here you can just rotate the image. And when you are done, you just hit enter and your image is straight. Hey guys, be sure to subscribe to our video so you can see all the new ones coming out and also like and share them with your friends, okay? Make sure you share them with your friends. And also, we'd like to see your comments on what other topics you would like for us to produce. Tell us what you want and we'll produce it for you. Okay, stay tuned.